you can think of it as like a person and that if a person is healthy they tend to do a better job at fighting off infections and diseases. The Great Lakes are the same way. We've made them sick, which means they're susceptible to a lot of these invasive species moving in. It takes a lot to explain to people how impacted the Great Lakes are, and but by the time they're actually they actually see it, oftentimes it's it's you know at the devastation level, it's it's catastrophic. A lot of people don't realize that the, the extent you can't see across it. I mean. How the hell do you eradicate something out of there? They have to be stopped at the source. Unless they're in, forget it. In the battle against invasive species, one of the most important things we can do is try to figure out how they get into a particular area. Because once they get in, they're very, very difficult to get rid of. So we have to stop them from getting in and establishing a foothold. So in the Great Lakes, we need to figure out how invasive species are getting into the Great Lakes. For example, they're coming in through ballast water, through canals, and through introductions, uh, intentional and accidental, and we have to figure out ways to stop that. The more invasive species that get established, um, the more complex things are going to be. We know the Asian carp have been moving towards the Great Lakes for 20 to 30 years. Uh, so it was not a sneak attack on Chicago. But they are moving slowly, not as rapidly as most people think, but it is going to take a long time to do anything about it too. And we're talking years and probably millions of dollars. So will we be able to react fast enough to stop the Asian carp? Right now, it's the race is neck and neck and we don't know who's gonna win. When we look at the history and recreate the history of fish communities, we can see that invasive species are having a significant impact on our native fish communities. They are changing the composition of them. Uh, some native fishes are doing fairly well. Some are doing very, very poorly. We're seeing some native fishes disappearing from particular habitats when invasive species move in, and we're seeing drops in numbers of other fish. Yeah, many of them are below the radar. People don't even really know they're there, even though they're having a huge impact on the ecosystems of the Great Lakes. If they're not aware of it, how are they going to care? So everybody can be involved in this fight. There are a number of things that people can do, and just, and just awareness is very important as well. So I think no matter what the future of the Great Lakes looks like, if we don't invest into managing it and protecting it, then it will certainly see more devastation and um, negative impacts from invasive species. The big question is, can the native species adapt rapidly if these changes occur too quickly? So how fast can a native species adapt to the changing conditions? Well, it's like watching a race in slow motion. You know this invasive species is moving in, it's spreading, will we react in time?